Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a little origami climber. Um, it's kind of like a cricket, but it's a base for something that we can kind of build off of. So the first thing we need to do is start with a paper square. I'm just using some computer paper here. I fold up one corner and then I'm just going to cut off the extra so that I have a perfect square. And you don't have to use uh, computer paper like I am. If you have something else that will work, that'll be fine. But make sure it's not too thick or it's going to get really difficult to fold after you do a few folds. So <clears throat> go ahead and make sure you get that nice square. And we're going to continue from this point. So we're going to do a series of folds. Try and be as careful and precise as you can. So I'm going to fold up in the other direction there to make another triangle. And I'm just going to lift those two corners okay and I'm going to bring that corner up to the middle so I'm going to line it up just right with that middle line and very carefully uh, line it up and then push it down pretty firmly there and do the same on the other side so when we do that we're going to have these kind of two flaps that we can fold down and that's our next step there so what we're going to focus on is see these corners here so I'm going to lift that flap down and I'm going to make sure it Fold right at that corner. I'm going to angle it just a little bit. Okay, so you can see that I didn't make it a straight line. And there's no per perfectly precise way to do that. You just want to use your judgment and make a slight fold. And you can do that on both sides and just make sure that those angles look pretty much the same and that they're both folded at that corner. Now I'm going to take another flap because you've got multiple flaps there. I'm going to fold that down, not all the way to the middle. You want to leave a little bit of space there but you're gonna make sure you fold it straight. And then again, I'm gonna fold down that last flap and I'm not bringing it to meet the other one. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in the bottom there, okay? So that's sort of the trickiest part. If you need to go back, just reverse, stop, watch me again, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanna do, you can see I have those straight lines right there on the corners. I'm gonna bring that right into the central line, okay? So you're gonna do that on both sides. You wanna make sure that you're very careful here and bring it to the very middle. Okay, and again, if you need to go back, pause it, look at that again, go ahead and do that so that you get a nice uh, clean fold and everything's in the right place. Good news, that was our kind of our hardest part, and that was the fun part. So I'm going to decorate this, and you guys can do whatever you want. I made this superhero um, character who's going to, he's going to have a little cape on, and you can see the back of his head and his legs. But if you just wanted to draw on this shape, that's fine. You wouldn't even have to decorate it. You could use it like this, of course. Um, <clears throat> but I think I want to make it a little more fun, so I'm going to add some a little extra things to it. You can think of all kinds of things you can make to be climbing. You can make a spider or a different kind of bug or an alien or an octopus. Anything you can think of that you might want to turn into a climber, use your imagination. Uh, you can draw on it, and you can use construction paper like I'm doing, whatever you like. It's fine. So if you are going to do like me and make a superhero, you just want to make a shape for the cape that's big enough to kind of cover the, the white paper. I have a little sticky now, but I can trim that because it's not really important to how it works. Um, but you want to make sure you cover the most that you can. I'm just drawing some little shapes here for legs and feet that might be sticking out underneath the bottom of the cape. Um, I'm not going to make arms. You could, of course, do that if you want to but this is going to work for me. Now what's cool about this is you can make more than one and you can actually have races uh, to see who can make theirs climb the fastest. So you can see I just put a little glue there. Um, I glued the head on and I'm just going to glue the cape onto the, the back there. And then I'm going to glue some legs um, on the very bottom there. Okay, so just a little glue is fine. Now I'm going to flip, um, as you can see I cut off that extra, so I'm going to flip this over and I've got a pretty long piece of string. It's, it's about six feet long. I don't want it to be too short or it's not going to have much room to climb. And what I need to do is just kind of line up the ends. And it's okay, you can always adjust it. So if they get a little bit askew, don't worry about it. I'm just going to put that string in with the, the loop up the top there. And what I'm going to do is just put a little dot of glue on each side of the string and then just bring those flaps back down. And I would suggest, as uh, usually, count, count to 10 at least while you hold and press. Um, just to make sure that that glue has a good chance to get stuck before you release it because it's always frustrating when you're trying rush and then the glue just doesn't dry. So I happen to have a couple of beads. Um, if you have those that's great or if you have some buttons or something that you could maybe tie onto the bottom. This just kind of helps the string from 
going through the top or falling out uh, when you actually are playing with this. So it's just a little something extra that I put on the bottom um, to kind of help. So if you have something like that at home, you can always add that little piece there to make it kind of easier to play with. So he's all done. I pulled that loop up out of the top and I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. So what you want to do is find something like a doorknob. A doorknob is a good thing. It's stable and you're going to pull on each string and your character is going to climb up the strings. So you want to be a little bit lower so you're at an angle. I'm just going to show you this from another angle here. Just do a slow kind of like a back and forth tug on your string and your character will climb right up the string. So I hope you guys have fun with this. Enjoy and I look forward to seeing any creations you come up with.